delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, The official TV-based instruction of Tagum City. This is Tagum City Division's Deaf and TV Banana. Hello, young scientist. It's another Sci Amazing Day. Are you excited for today's adventure? Yeah! Great! Let's explore the fantastic world of science. Yes, I'm excited too. So fasten your seatbelt because we will bring you to an adventure that you will never forget. But before that, don't forget to prepare your pen, paper, and your learning modules for a hashtag SciDaisy. I've been pushing this one all day and I couldn't move it forward if someone could just help me. <sighs> hey Rog, is there anything wrong? Maybe I could help. Yes, please. I couldn't move this cart forward. It is so heavy. Maybe you can push it and I will pull it from here. Yes, please. Thank you, JR, for helping me. You're welcome, Raj. For today's lesson, you will be able to describe the effects of force when applied to an object. Specifically, you will learn to explain the effects of force in the shape of an object, describe the effects of the force on the size of an object, describe the effects of the amount of force in the movement of an object. But before we start, let me ask you these questions. Do you know why do objects move? What makes objects move? Did you know that force can change the shape, the size, and the movement of an object? What are the activities that can be applied that can change the size, the shape, and the movement of an object? Now let us find out by answering the following questions to test your prior knowledge about it. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's do this! Choose the letter of the correct answer. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Let's begin! Number 1. What do you call the pushing or pulling of an object to produce motion? A. Gravity B. Force C. Friction D. Playing Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? You got it right! The correct answer is letter B. Force. Number 2. What will happen to an object when there is no force applied to it? A. It will not move. B. It will move very slowly. C. It will move very quickly. And D. It will move up and down. Timer starts now. Time is up. 
Do we have the same answer, kids? Yes, very good. It is letter A. It will not move. Number three. How does gravity bring an object down to Earth? A. Trips B. Pulls C. Throws D. Pushes Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? That's right. The answer is letter B. Pulls Number four. What will Johan use to make something move? A. Motion B. Force C. Wind D. Water Timer starts now. Time's up! Do we have the same answer, kids? If your answer is letter B, Force, you're correct! Number 5. How will you stop a toy car moving down a slope? A. Give it a push. B. It is impossible to stop. C. Put hands in its path. D. Just look at it. Timer starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? That's right! The answer is letter C. Put hands in its path. Great job, kids! Just keep on learning! I have a question for you kids. Can this table move on its own? The answer is no. This table can't move on its own. Do you know why? Hmm. Now, what if I do this to the table? Did the table move? Yes! The table already moved from its original position because I applied force by pushing it. And if I want the table to move to its original position, I will just pull it back like this. So, I already used my force to move the table by pushing and pulling it. Now, do you know what is force? Force is either a push or pull on an object. It can be due to gravity, magnetism, friction, or anything that might cause an object to move. Force can change the shape, size, or movement of an object. It will occur when two or more objects interact with each other. Push is a force that moves an object away from another object. While pull is a force that moves an object closer to another object. Force has the following effects on objects. Force can change the shape or size of an object. The shape of a rubber band changes when it is pulled or stretched. You can also break things by applying a force. Materials that break easily when we apply a force are termed brittle. For example, objects made of glass and clay break easily when we apply force on them. The shape of an object may change when force is applied on it. Pushing, pounding, compressing, bending, twisting, Stretching or squeezing are some ways of changing the shape of an object. Force can change the direction of a moving object. In football, the players can change the direction of the moving ball by kicking it in a different direction. In these examples, 
Force changes the direction of a moving object. Force can slow down or completely stop a moving object. A moving toy car can be made to stop by applying a force. A bicycle can be stopped or slowed down by applying the brakes. In football, the force applied by the goalkeeper stops the ball from hitting the goal. In order to stop or slow down a moving body, we need to apply a force in a direction opposite to the direction of motion of the moving body. Force can make a stationary object move or make a moving object move faster. A toy car can be made to be moved by giving it a little push. Similarly, a stationary football can be made to move by giving it a small push. Example, by kicking it. If we have an already moving toy car or ball, we can make it move faster by giving it a push in the direction in which it is moving. Thus, a force can make a stationary object move, and it can also make an already moving object move faster. When force is applied to an object, the size of an object may change. Some situations where force is applied and change the size are the following. Dropping a flower vase, pounding styrofoam cup, cutting a piece of cardboard, sharpening a pencil, and grinding rice grains. Always remember that force is a push or pull that can make objects move or stop. An equal force can make things move towards the direction of the greater force, while balanced force can make objects not to move. That's it kids! Now, let's check if you catch up our discussion by having this activity. Let's begin! Direction Match the following objects to its corresponding ways on how force change the shape and size of an object. Column A are the names of materials and column B are the ways how to change the size and shape of an object. Write the letter of the correct answer on your notebook. You only have 30 seconds to answer. Timer starts now. Time's up! Now, let's check your answers. Do you have the same answers with these kids? That's amazing! Thank you, Sir JR, for that very informative discussion. Are you up for another exciting activity? Come on, let's try another one. Put to check if the given activity can change the size and movement of an object when force is applied and put X if not. Write your answer on your notebook. You will be given 30 seconds to answer. Let's begin! Time is up! Now, let's check your answer. Do you have the same answer with this, kids? Excellent! Easy, right? Keep up the good work! Thank you so much, Teacher Raj. 
Well done, kids! Answering all the activities will be easier for you if you only listen carefully to our discussion. Did you enjoy our lesson for today? That's awesome! Now, let's have a short recap on the lesson that we have discussed. We learned about force. It is either a push or pull on an object. It can be due to gravity, magnetism, friction, or anything that might cause an object to move. We also learned that force has the following effects on objects. Force can change the shape or size of an object. Force can change the direction of a moving object. Force can slow down or completely stop a moving object. And force can make a stationary object move or make a moving object move faster. Great job, kids! You are learning a lot. Thank you, Sir JR, for that quick recap. At this moment, let us now assess what you have learned from today's discussion. Are you ready? Let's do this! Read the questions carefully and write the letter of the correct answer on your notebook. You are given 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Which of the following objects will require a greater force to move? A. Refrigerator B. Study table C. Monoblock chair and D. Television Timer starts now. Time's up! Now let's check your answer. If your answer is letter A, refrigerator, that's correct. Number 2. Which of the objects below requires lesser force to move? A. Book B. Notebook C. Pencil D. Blackboard Eraser Timer starts now. Time's up! Do we have the same answer? That's right! The correct answer is letter C, pencil. Number 3. What causes object to move? A. Weight B. Gravity C. Force D. Magnets Timer starts now! Time is up! What is your answer? If your answer is letter C, force, that's correct! Number 4 Suppose you push a door and your sister is on the other side pushing the door. How will you describe the force and the effect of your actions to the doors? A. The door will push you B. The door will push your sister away from you. C. The force is unbalanced and the door may break. And D. The force is balanced and the door does not move. Timer starts now. Time's up! Do we have the same answer, kids? Yes, the correct answer is letter D. The force is balanced and the door does not move. Number 5. Which of the following can change the size and shape of an object when force is applied on it? A. Pulling a kite B. Writing in a paper C. Tearing of paper D. Pushing a plastic chair Timer starts now Time's up! What is your answer? Excellent! 
If your answer is letter C, tearing up paper, you got it right. You're doing great, kids. Good job. Congratulations, learners. You all did great today. Did you enjoy our Sai Amazing Adventure today? Yeah! That's awesome! It is really a fantastic journey with you kids. And we are excited to join with you again next time for another episode as we explore better the science subject. Once again, I am Teacher Raj. And I am Teacher JR saying, learning is very interesting. So just keep on studying. See, See you, you next time. time. Goodbye. Bye.